guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because this week is Shark Week and I have a whole Shark Week series for you guys. Where you guys are going to have healthy recipes that will get you excited for the summer, for Shark Week, and just in general are pretty cool. So today for Shark Week, for our first video, I'm going to make a watermelon shark. And you're going to want to bring this to any summer party if you have kids that love sharks. This is really a showstopper of a piece and it's really relatively easy. So I'm super excited. Again, we're going to be doing Shark Week the entire week. So I have eight videos coming out. I have my Shark Week shirt on. I have our balloon mascot in the background to get us excited. And I'm just really excited to show you guys all the videos. You guys are also going to meet my husband in one of the videos. It just, I'm really, this is probably the most excited series I am for the summer, so I love Shark Week. If you meet me in real life, you'll know that I'm just like a huge shark fan. Um, I just think they're the coolest animals, and literally Shark Week can be on all day, and I just find myself like being kind of glued to the TV, and it's like, it's like episodes I've seen from, you know, summers before, but I just, I don't know, I just love them. So, for our watermelon shark, you're going to need a ripe watermelon. You're going to need toothpicks. You're going to need some kind of platter that you're going to put on the final end product. So, I have my platter here. You're going to need um, some other kind of fruit. So, I'm going to do watermelon and cherries today. You could do watermelon and blueberries, um, watermelon and, and raspberries, whatever other fruit, but I would say two fruits. Um, I like the dark, dark cherries for this. It... I'm going to use them for the eyes of the shark and I just think it adds a little bit more depth of color than just having watermelon. So you, you can include a couple different fruits, it doesn't have to be two. You're also going to need a ice cream scooper and two knives, one large knife, like a pretty big knife, and one smaller knife and you want your knives to be very sharp. So we're going to get started. I'm going to move some of the things I don't need right now off to the side so we can cut our watermelon. You also might need a bowl to scoop out the watermelon ingredients. Um, that way you have a place to put them before when we're assembling it and then you can put it back. So also a bowl would be handy. But you have your watermelon. You're going to put the ugly side or the side it's been laying on on the bottom. And you just want to kind of judge your watermelon depending on how's your, how yours looks. Mine um, has looks pretty good. So... It does have this like kind of brownish spot right here that I'm gonna cut off. So I think I'm gonna make this the head of the shark and this more the bottom. So with your sharp knife on a cutting board, you're gonna cut not, I would say, three fourths of the way. You don't wanna cut it in half, you wanna save that, but three fourths of the way, you're just gonna cut it straight down carefully. And using a sharp knife will help you. There we go. So, that is all we need for our sharp knife. We can now put this on the side. But our watermelon is now in two pieces. So, we're going to move, I'm going to move this one to our platter just for a moment. But this other part, we're going to scoop out and then eventually this is going to be our fin. So, you just want to take your um, ice cream scooper. You can use a, um, a lemon ball scooper but I like the ice cream scooper because it's quicker you get kind of bigger pieces with it uh, if you want to do cubes and do them more in chunks however you want to scoop out your watermelon I just like the ice cream one um, but I'm gonna go grab a bowl so I can have a place to scoop it so I have my bowl so this is the part that kind of gets messy um, or it could be a part that you let your kids help you with but I'm just gonna take out scoops and it's also nice to have a sink nearby because you're going to notice a lot of like watermelon juice um, kind of coming out. So just periodically I'm going to go over to the sink and dump it. I throw out an apron because this does get like really messy. Um, so if you're wearing something that you are planning to go to your party with, you might want to change your shirt or um, put an apron on. So that's pretty good for the thin part. So I'm just gonna set this aside. We don't need it right now. 
So now we're just gonna scoop out the main part. It's easier to cut our shark if it's hollow. So again, you're just gonna make little scoops and then whenever it fills up with enough water, you'll drain it and keep going. perfect I just put them in two bowls and got the majority of it out now you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna figure out what side you want the mouth to be on or what's the if there's any blemishes that like you want that the mouth to be I think I'm gonna have this side be the mouth so now what you can do is you can take a sharpie or a dry eraser and draw the mouth I already have an idea of what it looks like. I just kind of wing it. Um, but I'll show you guys the shape after. Um, and you can take a smaller knife for this point. And I still have my potter ready. But I'm going to start cutting into my watermelon. It should be a lot easier to cut. So it's like a good, um, just to show you the shape. And then this little piece comes off. You can put that on the side but it's just a shape around, kind of like um, a dome, but we still need to cut out the, the gums of the shark. So you wanna leave, you don't wanna go too close to the bottom or top, but just as like, kind of like a half circle is what I kind of think about when I cut it. So now you can go in and kind of shave a little bit off to make it look pretty. You can shave any more of the red watermelon rind that you still have left. So you want to cut through the top layer just to expose that green part that you can kind of see on the inside. So this is the, probably the hardest part, but I just score a little line so I can guide myself but you just want to make a thin kind of like border and then you're just gonna carefully shave off the green part and again it doesn't have to be perfect this it's just the part we're gonna put the teeth in but you want it to be like a nice border so this might take um, a little bit of practice so you want to use a small knife for this and just take your time. I think this is the part you don't want to rush. Doesn't take too long, but you just want to try to make it in a nice line. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just went around and made a little outside layer. And this is where you're gonna now draw your teeth. I think this part with the gums just like takes a little bit of patience. Doesn't take long, but just a little patience and practice. Um, but for the teeth, you're just gonna draw um, kind of like the pointy part of the triangle and not the top part because you want obviously their place to be um, held into the watermelon. So I just start right in the middle and I just start by making that, I make one that I draw the, this part of the tooth and then the next one I'll draw like this and push it out. So I'll show you guys an up close. So that there's a space between each tooth. And again, this part isn't hard, it's just you gotta be patient and take your time. But just so you can get that like that tooth shape. So we're gonna do this the whole way around. And again, it's not hard, it just takes some practice, and you want those points to be um, really pointy so it looks like sharp teeth. I just finished the teeth. And now he has a bunch of sharp, jaggedy teeth. 
Um, but now you can go in and kind of clean up any of those. So I'm gonna flip it over and kind of clean it up a little. You just wanna be careful that you don't cut any of the teeth that you've just made off. Once you have your shark head all cleaned out, you wanna place it on the platter where it's permanently gonna be. So for the eyes, we're gonna take two nice sized cherries. You can kind of look through them, pick out which one you like. Take the stems off. You could also use blueberries for this part as well. It's up to you. I just try to find two similar sizes for his eye. Okay. And you're gonna take two toothpicks. Now, if you mess up this part, What's nice is the green part is very forgiving, so if you stick the toothpaste in one part that you don't like, um, you can re-stick it. But I just stick this in to our cherry, miss the seed in the middle, and kind of play around with where I want the eye. You can go in through the bottom and leave this part. I kind of like that, because then that kind of looks like an eyeball. So I went through the bottom of the cherry, missing the seed. Getting you. And I like having a couple toothpicks because um, you want it to stay. And then I'm going to kind of figure out where I want the eyes to be. Right there looks good. And then you're going to take your cherry off, stick your toothpick down into, into your masterpiece of a shark. And you're going to find the hole that you stuck in the cherry and then put it back. Looks really good. So you're going to do the same on the other side trying to match it. If it's a little off, it's okay, but you just want to do your best job. So I'll just do it with the toothpick to kind of see. It's kind of hard to eyeball it. You could get a marker out and really test it. I just kind of see if it looks like it makes sense. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So then your eyeballs are now attached to your shark. And the part that really makes this look like a shark um, is the fin. So that one part that we scooped out for the mouth is actually a perfect shape for the fin. Um, and you're gonna attach it with three toothpicks in the back to be in the back, but I do wanna clean it up a little. And you want it to have kind of a sharp point, so this one doesn't yet. So I'm just gonna clean this up. I'm gonna take off any extra of the watermelon that I had. Down with the green part up and kind of figure out the shape for my fit. Now if I mess up, I have a whole other that part, the first part to work with. Um, so if you make a mistake here, it's forgiving, which is nice. But I kind of like how that turned out. So I just made a pointy part and the back is flat. Now it's not going to be perfectly flat on your on your shark, but I'm going to attach it with a few, I like three of the toothpicks. Just kind of clean it up one more time. all that red part off okay doesn't have to be perfect but with three toothpicks you're gonna jam it into the rind and I just say some I put like and you're gonna jam it in pretty far into your fin so a little bit sticks out and I'm just gonna do space them one in the middle and one on the edge and it looks like that. So you're gonna take your three toothpicks and attach it to the back to be the fin. And the toothpicks should go in really easy. You wanna make sure you don't grab the teeth so you don't mess them up. So I just kinda help guide my toothpicks and they're in. So now your shark has a fin. And this is the fun part, it's everything's done now. So now you literally can fill. So I just, Take my shark, put him on the edge of my platter, 
And now what I'm going to do, it probably looks better if I show you that way, but I'm going to fill him up with a bunch of the watermelon that we cut and I'm going to do some of the cherries. So I just take off the stems of the cherry and put them in as well. You could use any fruit you'd like, but this is such a cute piece for a summer party and relatively it's pretty easy um, to make. I don't think it's that hard. You just think it takes a little bit of practice and patience and um, you're definitely going to want to do this for your next cookout. And I'm just going to feed it to the shark. You're just going to start piling it up in his inside of his head. And if you did, if you didn't do the the ice cream scooper, that's fine. Whatever, however you cut it up, okay. and save some room for some of your other fruit. I'm gonna use cherries, and then I'm gonna also place it around our shark. The only thing is this will sweat, so if you leave it out, you're gonna might have to drain off some of that liquid from the watermelon. But most of our parties, the watermelon goes really fast because it it's just so ripe right now that everyone wants to just grab some. We have a little bit of room for some cherries too. Okay, maybe one more piece. And then the extra pieces I have left over, I just put in my fridge for us to have later. But let's do the cherries now. So you could use blueberries, um, whatever fruits, I wouldn't do like apples or anything that's going to brown like pears, but berries or cherries are really nice in this. And I just go ahead and put them out sporadically and then that ties in the eyes and the cherries. So I've taken this to a couple family parties and everyone's really loved it. And it's perfect for Shark Week. It's a healthy snack that you don't have to feel bad about indulging in, and it's just a little showstopper for your next cookout. And I can't wait for you guys to see the up-close version of him. This is my favorite trick I've ever made. Let me know if you guys make the watermelon shark platter. It was so fun to make, and I know you guys are gonna love it. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. And make sure you subscribe because I'm doing eight videos for Shark Week because I'm such a lover of Shark Week, if you can't tell. Um, and they're gonna be healthy recipes, fun videos, um, so you don't wanna miss it. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.